Hello, hello. Good morning, hello, everyone. everybody. <laughs> it's been a long <laughs> time. It's been a really long time. <laughs> yeah, for a long time we didn't see you, uh, Cindy, on somebody oh, yeah. else. I know. I was I was missing in action. I know. <laughs> but I'm glad to be <laughs> well, here. I think you are super busy during that time. No, y'all are busy. I mean, you have a full time job and you still do stuff. I don't know what happened to me, but I'll I'll try to do better. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I almost not sleep <laughs> to do the stuff. Yeah, I know. You don't sleep is right. <laughs> uh, well, things happen. If you want to make a project, you have to just put something different on site. Yeah, I know. Put in your pajamas sometimes, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about yeah. that. <laughs> Hello, Diana. How are Hi, you? Diana. Good to see you. Okay, Cindy, what do you will do today? Today. Well, actually, this is this is kind of a fun thing. Um, I don't know about a year ago, and, and not that I'm so memorable, but I'll show you the project that it started this whole thing. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Hi, Helen. I miss you too. About <laughs> a year ago, I made this book. And this was the swatch book. And it's the one that I put together. Um, I did a live with it. And I showed um, all the collections. And I did like uh, swatches from each collection. Yeah, I remember. OK. And I did it with with Sarah's collection, the Atelier des Arts. Mm -hmm. And I, said, well, I really like that. So as time went on, I went, uh, as a matter of fact, in Dallas. This was Sarah Alcabendis's project. And it yes. also matched the collection. This was great. So I did that. And then I was so excited about it. I made my own all the way back here. I made another one. I love these boxes. It's beautiful. Then, to add to the fun, I got this as a gift from Sarah Yara. She made this. Look at this to hold the inks. Wow. Is it great? It was it's a whole kit. It's an MDF kit that she she designed and made and it holds the stamp pads. Look at that. It's a perfect fit. So then I've I've got this thing with uh chocolate and cookies. <laughs> so <laughs> I was sitting there getting ready to throw away the inserts from Oreo cookies or Chips Ahoy or something. Mm -hmm. I said, Well, that's kind of a neat tray. So using everything I've learned, this is what I made. I just built a box around the tray. Wow, it's a great idea. And it, but I'm, it's, always, it's, I'm always saying we need everything as a crafters. <laughs> yeah, and so, and if, look at this, it's so perfect. I was pretty impressed. Take your little brushes and you can sort them out. Look at there. And everything is handy on the desk. Everything's handy on the desk. So I, I'm as long as you've got space on the desk. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, true. But at least you can move it in, in group and it's not like scattered, you know. So that yeah. was the whole deal. So if you're ready, I can we can switch the camera and I'll show you what yeah, we're gonna make. Sure. All righty. Uh give me one second here. And I'll make sure. Thank you, Laura. <clears throat> hello, hello, everyone. We've got a lot of friends uh, coming in. Okay, let me get... There we go. Hello, um, Sarah. Cindy just mentioned before your uh, MDF kit. Oh, which I was in love with that. <laughs> what a good gift that was. <laughs> okay. okay, I will put you, Cindy, on the full screen. All right, give me one more second, if you would. Yeah, sure. Sorry about that. Okay, hello, Laura, Priscilla, Sara, Anita, Betty, Valeria, uh, Oriana, Anna, Helen, Let me Clara. Wait. Hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> Okay, let me flip so you can, is that better? And 
now we can read, right? Um, yes. Okay. I had to switch the camera horizontal. Technology, technology. Okay. We are good to go. Okay. Yes, you already changed it. We good? Okay, to start with, now you're going to ask me for measurements, but there aren't any because depending on which insert you use or which which bag of uh, Chips Ahoy or Oreos or whatever, you can get different sizes. So what you have to do is you're going to start with this. This will be your measurement for your bases and all. So all you have to do is just flip it over and you're going to trace it and those become your measurements, okay? So the rest of it is just going to be how you're going to measure the pieces to build your box. So we're going to start with, you've got, got your base. And then you're going to cover your base. And I'll try to make this easy. That's this piece down here, right here. Yes. Okay. And then you're going to have your box bottom, which I love. Hello, Kathleen. Hello, Blanche. Good to see you. Hello, Hi, Rosa. <laughs> and then for your box base, this is the one I, I told you that you're going to trace your tray, and that's going to determine the size of your base. And then for your paper, you're going to cut it one inch larger than your box base, OK? So everything is easy. You almost don't even have to measure except for this one inch. So there's your box base. And this is the whole tray base. All right. So we got that. And then when you get to the sides, you got your box base. And this you can go back and look because I printed everything out how you need it. Okay. So for your box base, you're going to need two sides. All right. And if you can see how this one is the same size as the base, and you're going to need two of those. And then for the other sides, let me get these together. Okay. Hello, Natasha. We are happy here to be here as well. Okay. And then when you do the um, the other sides, you're going to do it the length plus the thickness of two of these. So what, this is an easy way to measure it. You put down your base, and then you can measure over. Just push it till it's till it's even. So there's no real measuring. You're not gonna have to worry about sixteenths, but you can see where see where it ends. And I've got two thicknesses of board. So that'll yeah. allow for it to go across. Okay, everybody clear on that one? For me it's clear. I hope for our family friends it's clear as well. If anyone's got any question or something is not clear. Just please write it down in the comment. I will read it for uh, Cindy. Okay. Now, then, when you do the paper for all these pieces, all right, for this is the longer, this is the longer one, okay? You're going to do the same thing all the way around. You're going to have one set that's going to be the length plus an inch. So you're going to get a half of an inch all the way around. So you can see how that's going to fit right there. Okay. And then for the shorter sides, they're going to be, well, that was for the inside. Sorry. For the shorter sides, it's going to be, holy cow, here it is. There it is. For the shorter sides, it's going to be the same, same width, actually just a hair shorter. And then you're going to have the one inch. So you've got a one and half of an inch top and bottom. Okay. And what that is, it's going to allow for you to wrap. So I'll make that clear as I can for you. You can see here's, here's this, how it goes. It goes up 
and over the top and it goes under the bottom. So everything's going to be covered top and to the underside of your box. And I'll show you. Just the cover edges of the cut book. Yeah. So that's why the half inch is a good measurement. And then you're going to cut papers for the inside liner. And that's there again. Here's your sides. And you see this one's going to be just a little bit smaller. This one's going to be the same width, but just a little bit shorter. And then for the, your longer ones, it's going to be also a little bit shorter, but you're going to have that half inch side to side. So you'll see as we get putting it together. So those are all your papers ready to go. And it makes sense to just go ahead and do it. Cut all your papers first. Because then, Hello, Patricia. Okay, now we're going to start assembly. Okay, this is this is my big base. So I'm going to put that down. Make sure I have it going in the right direction. Now this is a different size oh, box. Yeah. And I definitely want to get through this in an hour. So we're just going to, I'm going to keep rolling along. All right. So what I did is I scored my paper that half inch. Since I cut it a half inch bigger, I scored it. And make sure I've got this going in the right direction. And just lay it face down. So you just, it's like wrapping a package. Yes. And if I have my burnisher here somewhere, that's the other key on this. I make sure you just burnish it down because especially when you're folding the edges, this is it's just the best tool ever. Anytime you make a box or fold. Okay. So uh, Patricia, I'm sending is doing a tray for the brushes. Pardon? Oh. No, Patricia is asking what you are doing, Cindy. Yeah. <laughs> We're, we're making, we're making this <laughs> and I'm constructing the base right now. Okay. Now, when you fold this over, I'm going to take this off screen for a minute. All you're going to do is be clipping your corners. Can you see, you just go around here just to ease them in. It's quick and easy. And this just makes it so you can fold them over. All right, a little bit of glue. And that's why I say if you score it first, this makes it easy. And then, of course, just burnish it right down. I'm using the craft glue. You can use um, that or extra forte, but this seemed to work fine. Well, I think craft glue is uh, enough stroke to hold, uh, hold paper. Yeah. Hello, it Sylvia. Is. <laughs> And even for the construction, I was su surprised how well it did hold. Not surprised, but I mean, it, you know, it wasn't like I had to worry about it coming apart. And also, too, as you're building this, you're going to be adding strength to it. Every time you add a paper, you know, or uh, put sides together, it's just building strength. Yeah, our friends love your tray. It's beautiful, gorgeous. Well, I, I love I love boxes and containers of any kind. So this is right up my alley. And I'll tell you the truth. I'm not going to take any credit for making this up because the, the master of box making is Sarah Alcabendis. I learned everything I know from her. So if you even want to go back and get some more instruction on how to make boxes and the construction, I'm doing exactly like she does. Go and look at some of her YouTube videos, even the ones that on her cartonage collection. They are fabulous. Yes, I've got one ready one. Well, I didn't post yet uh, with uh, Desire Collection. Oh, yeah. That'd be pretty. Yeah. Well, maybe on the end of the life I can show you. Yeah, that'd be I great. <laughs> okay, so we've got that, that one done. There's your base. Then... What I did, 
set that aside. I already started the construction on the box. And you'll see, since this is a different size tray altogether, this is a, a four. But you see, I just measured it. I laid it flat down on the cardboard and traced it. So that's how I knew how big it was. So you can see that. Okay. So then using the method I showed you just by lining up your sides, we're ready to go. So I already did two of the sides. So you didn't have to watch me. And this is my favorite way of putting this together. Just take some masking tape, and put it underneath. Hello, Fernanda. Okay. All right, so we've got that in place. And then I'm going to take my two sides, and these are the ones that are just a little bit longer. You know, when I told you to measure for the double thickness, this is how it mm -hmm. works. Then. It's right to the outside. Uh, Cindy, we have a question. Sure. What thickness uh, of the cardboard you are using? This stuff I bought, it's um, it's like a one, it's about a one and a half millimeter, yeah, millimeter, and I bought it on Amazon. It's just um, like mat board, you know, for pictures? Yes. And I've just been using this. You can use any kind of gray board, any kind of mat board you want. Because That's why you is, are using uh, double thickness to be more strong. No, 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 I'm not using double thickness. I, that's, yeah. That was for me measurement. Ah, okay, sorry. When I measured the length of it. So, no, I'm not using double thickness at all. Okay, so... Hello, this... Filomena. And uh, Oriana is saying, uh, I love how you can work clean and sharp. I'm always a gloomous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you see how I just laid it right in there. And then now that you've got your masking tape in place, just slowly run it up the side. And it's in. Just give it a little push so it's it's really, it's ready to go. That couldn't be any easier, really. So then I'm going to do this again, and I'm just gluing. This is the side that's going to touch the edge of the other of the box. Okay. And like I say, as you add the papers to it, it becomes, it's stronger on its own. So you don't have to worry too much. A little hand is shaking here. Okay. Oh, yeah, I say great tip with the masking tape. Well, you know, I mean, because rather than waiting till you have it set in place and then lift to have them lift it up for the masking tape, you got it right there, ready to go. So if you just line up your edges. Push it in a little bit. Like I say, there's not a whole lot of uh, measuring or fussing. You know, if you just use your use your base as the master, you're not really doing a whole lot of measuring except just to get that one inch, uh, you know, the half inch border around all your papers. So this is pretty quick and easy. So you can make any size you want. Okay. I'll give that a minute to Hello, set. Carlos and Mila. Oh, Good hi, Mila. Mia. Now, if you want to, go ahead and you can take another piece of masking tape for your corners. It's not mandatory. You can just feel like doing it. But I would say it will be very handy. To keep your box straight away uh, in the shape. Yeah. yeah, especially because I'm going to go right into uh, putting the inside bottom on. This way I can kind of push, around, push it around without having to worry too much about the glue being perfectly dry. Oops. Come on in there. Okay. Give me a second here. 
but I mean, you see, just with a quick glue, I mean, it's already pretty sturdy. Look, you gotta love that. Yeah, so the only holdup is getting the masking tape off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This is kind of how, how you talk to yourself when you're working, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm man. talking to, to ourselves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, holy moly. Okay. Exactly. Now, uh, Claudia, what kind of uh, structure you are asking? Because cardboard is one and a half millimeters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can use anything you want. Okay, now this is going to be the inside bottom. I'm going to put that in right away. I've also, I've scored it already about the half inch just to get it started. And then all you're going to do is right here, get rid of that. I just make a little cut right there to the score. See where it's scored? Just make a little cut there. And wherever that score is. Okay. Sarah is saying she loves her uh, atelier collection. I do too. I really do. And I, I, always, I like the molds and everything that go with it. Well, okay. I, I will just say I wish I can have that much money to buy everything in your collection. Yeah. And that much room for it. True, true. <laughs> Okay, now you see I'm not going crazy with the glue, all right? Just a quick squiggle. This is another one of those that a lot of people think more glue is better. It's really not. No, it's totally opposite. Obviously, you have to have enough glue to stick your paper into the piece, but if you add too much glue, your paper gets wet, you've got wrinkles, and well, it's not look good. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just folding those little flaps to the back. And then you just push it in your in the box. Now, like I told you, I, I did the score. But, the, you know, the thickness of the paper sometimes changes it. It's no big deal. And I've already got glue in there. Come on, get that little flap behind. Claudia, I love that collection as well. Okay. And here we go. And then this is where your burnisher comes in because you can run this right into the corners. Get your, your bottom in. Hello, Monica. Oh, hi, Monica. I think, uh, I think Monica's happy with this little hour difference because she's in California. So actually, instead of being up at six, I think or it's good. It's seven o'clock now, so it's a little more real time for them. <laughs> okay, and but then it's we just start. crazy with the time changing because we 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 have conversation with Cindy uh, before the live, and she said, "Good that uh, I realize uh, that you change well in Europe. We changed yeah. time last uh, last Saturday because otherwise she's gonna be one hour earlier." <laughs> For the yeah, life, throwing me off. It'll be bad enough this weekend when it when we fall back. Of course, I gain an hour. That's not as bad. And what time is now, Cindy? Half it is, uh, uh, twenty past almost, nine. Almost ten thirty. Ah, almost ten thirty. Okay. Yeah. So it's only a five-hour difference. Ah, because it's five-hour difference to Poland, but it's uh, well, UK is different. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this one took a little bit more fussing, but at least now you've got your, your box bottom in. Okay. Yeah, Monica is saying California is 7.24 a.m. Oh, okay. So let me see what we have now. Okay, this is uh, through the magic of television. Let me see. Set that one aside. And I've gone ahead. This will be the next step and another box. So it's the same thing. And you can see I've already done the base. And I put in the bottom. Got my sides. 
And then this is where you put the outside part. Okay, so we're going to start on those pieces. And I thought just this would <laughs> just be a little time saver. So this one, all right, if I haven't lost the paper, oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Those are the insides, those are the outsides. Now, you know everything is where it was supposed to be this morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got it. Okay. So I've already done the one uh, side. I'm always part. amazed how people, uh, how stuff is dis disappearing during the life. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's everything insane. ready it's and insane. handy. <laughs> you start life and things disappear straight away. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing and just snip. Because it, it's just going to make uh, those little flaps fold over. <coughs> Wherever the uh, yeah, the is 25, then it's exactly the same time as UK, and Poland is 3 25. Okay, now everybody see why we did that half inch wider than your your sides. You see that now because it's going to fold over here, and then just half inch. Edge. okay. So let's get some. <laughs> Anna is saying stress is uh, so naughty. Naughty. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't, don't think so, Anna. It's stress because, well, uh, people who are doing a lot of lives got experience, and with that experience, we are stressing less. But still, well, usually we've got that much stuff on our desk during the lives, then it's, well, at some point, it's very difficult to find it what we are looking for yeah we can line it up but don't move anything until you're ready to use it okay and here again i'm burnishing it down and you can see how sturdy this box is i mean you can really do some stuff with it okay well so i'm surprised I'll because one and a half millimeters it's not really um very thick uh, cardboard no no it, it's not like you're building a house or anything you know you got to have uh two by fours and studs or anything just burnish this down this is the Ariana is saying uh, i do life every week and can't do a project under an hour i talk too much <laughs> well, i think we, we all got problems because we get uh, very chatty you should see my uh, lives with decoupage then well i can spend four hours <laughs> during the life to make a project. Yeah. Well, especially when you have to worry about things drying, too. Okay, so all I'm doing is just folding, gluing and folding. There we go. The ever popular burnisher. Come on. A little dip there. A little more glue. A little too skimpy on the glue on that one. All right. Now, the thing is, too, this box is going to be glued to your base, so it's not even a big old deal. Now, when you get to the sides, this is the one that's going a half inch over. So see how it flaps over the end? And then where you cut it, this is where it gets nice and neat in the corners, for me anyways, just by making that one slit. Because if you don't cut it, you end up a little more bulk in the corner. You just push that down. Yeah, you need to be very careful uh, with the edges. Yeah. And then down here on the underside, if it doesn't fold neatly, just you can trim it a little bit. But there you go. Okay. And we'll finish this side. And truly, once you have all your parts together, it's really going this fast. This isn't like a speed up camera or anything. 
because the glue dries fast and you can keep working it. Okay. Now, you see how the ends are here? So that's when we get to why we cut these sides. These, oops, I keep doing the inside and not the outside. Come on, where's the inside? Sorry, my bad. <laughs> okay, now we have, now these are the ones you're, that you're going to cut just a little bit shy of the edge. But see how this is going to finish off? Right there. It's not exactly the width, and you have just enough so that you can fold it over. Does everybody see that? Yeah. Okay. So this, is, again, is another easy glue. Oh, we have Mihela from uh, from Santeria. Hello, Mihela. Good to see you oh, here. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was I wrote to her yesterday and I said, so like you guys did have the time change, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. She said, yep, she was excited <laughs> that I I didn't have to like be yanked around or anything. <laughs> and, and I'm saying that she has no focus. Uh, well, I see everything uh, very properly. Has anyone uh, got problems also? Maybe try to refresh. Uh, Cindy, not you, because I see you. Uh, I was seeing you clearly. Yeah, I thought so, because I'm, I'm watching it too. But everything is obviously about our internet speed, uh, how many people are watching, um, like about speed. weather, and well, everything. Yeah, now I am a little, I look a little fuzzy myself. Well, that's wrong. Okay. See, and on my screen um, for my camera, it looks perfectly fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. It is really weird, huh? Sarah is saying for her look blurry. Yeah, now it's blurry a little bit. It's out of focus. Oh, that's just very better. Yeah, it's better now. Oh, it should be much clearer than that. That's a little bit better. There it is. Yeah. Okay, it's better now. Okay. Okay. In the meantime, I will remind you uh, to uh, visit our Stamperia uh, Stampers Worldwide group and vote for your favorite project. In the pizza box contest and you can make someone very happy on monday yeah i, I like the way that's being done yeah i think it's a very good idea because uh, um because uh, at least people who are making projects with stamperia uh, collections will mm -hmm. get for it yeah well, oh, this has been a long while back when it first started. It was their weekly newsletter, and then they would post the most loved project of the week. Yes. Yeah, I remember when they did that. That was fun. And my one little flap came up. A little more glue here. Hello, Crafty AM. Hi, Crafty. I should say hi, Ida. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Sandra is saying good morning. I miss you, Cindy. Well, I miss all of you. It just I was I was telling Agnieszka, like life got ahead of me a little bit. So uh 
yeah, I had to kind of like lay low for a while. <laughs> You know, things like, you know, business and doing inventory and all kinds of good stuff. Okay. And well, we've got Australia. Hello, hello. There is night already, I think. Okay. Now, these two pieces that we're going to do the insides, and this is one I showed you too. The two of your sides are going to be just a little bit shorter. You can see right in here. Just a little bit shorter. So it doesn't run right over the top and two of the pieces are going to be a half inch on each side longer and you'll see how neatly this finishes up the box nobody's asking questions so this must be making sense yeah there is no I question we will have any question i will read it for sure and this is the magic part because you know you put your the bottom in and you had the flaps come up and now when you go to put in your sides it's completely covered you don't have all these little edges everywhere get that burnisher Okay, now see, you can see, look at how nice and neat. See, you've only got like maybe an eighth of an inch running here. And with the pattern of the paper, and then you can see also to the bottom, there's no gaps. Gloria, uh, Gloria, make a comment. Hi, Cindy, where have you been? I missed you. <laughs> uh, I, I miss y'all too, really. <laughs> I just took it. You know, I you're going to laugh, but um, I was in Texas twice in a month. And you know, like for three weeks, I had my suitcase sitting in my bedroom unpacked. That's how bad it got, you know? And finally, you know, when you run out of underwear, you have to do laundry. So it, it's really kind of, it was, it was a lot. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Apparently my organizational skills aren't what they used to be. But yeah. So I'm just playing catch up and trying to get things done. But I appreciate the thought. Actually, I actually got a couple messages. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> and and I, thanks for checking on me. <laughs> oh, there's Priscilla. Yeah. Okay, so now we got those. And now we're going to finish the last, the ends. And here again, I had you, I had you cut it the same length, but actually see, it's a little bit too thick to actually just fit in. So just take your scissors and just do a little trim, maybe about an eighth of an inch. And this is where those the half inch overlap here comes in handy because you're, you're going to have paper under there. Hello, Helen. Okay. And you see how easily that slid in? It's perfect. Okay. Crafty, I am also love that co that collection. Oh, there's just so many pretty things in there. These Pantone charts that are in there just make me absolutely crazy. This is like having a big box of crayons, you know, where you have all the colors. Yes. It's perfect collection for crafters. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is in. Now, you know, by the time I'm done here, I did these in stages. I'm going to have uh, one, two, three, four boxes. Four boxes. Oh. Yippee skippy. Yeah, I wasn't sure how this was going to go, just gluing one. So I, I started three other boxes. Now, look at that, how pretty that is inside. It's gorgeous. Okay, this one I think was Chips Ahoy. This is a double stacker. And look, it just fits right in. The other good thing about this is if you got a little room in there, it lifts out and it's washable. It's washable. <laughs> so. I would say, Cindy, you had a really great idea about it. 
But you know, you know, when you're standing there over the trash can and you're getting ready to put it in there and you go, man, what could I do with that? It, it was just like a light bulb. And what's really yeah. good, the other thing too, uh, let me get a stack of something here. Oh, yeah. What I Clara, did, it's not only pretty, but useful too. Of course it's useful. <laughs> well, here's, all, here's all my little things I die cut. So if you're working on a project, I can stick them in the tray standing up. Look there. So you can you can pull them, you, you know, pull them out as you want. Sometimes you have like the stuff that you cut. Sometimes you have just the die cuts. Keep them in a different slot and you can work <coughs> the whole thing. Yeah, Valeria need to buy some cookies. <laughs> oh, the well, yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's a it's a lucky thing. I am totally addicted. But now that okay, now we're at this point, okay. I, I learned the hard lesson when you get to this stage, you know, and you've got your box all put together. If before you decorate it, and I'll explain to you what I did, I thought it was being so clever. I glued this onto the base and then I wanted to drill holes to put these handles on. And then yeah. I realized that there was a lip here. So if you're going to drill anything or put handles on it, do it before you attach it to the base. Just my suggestion for making your life a lot easier. But for this, I don't know if, if anybody still has these. I used the the wood pieces from the collection. That was KLSP 111. The other thing you can do is make handles out of stone paper or even like uh, the Lady Vagabond collection has all those neat buckles. The buckles and the locks and everything, that you, you know, the molds. You can use those to embellish too. So if you don't have these, you know, don't despair. There's plenty of stuff to use. The other thing for decoration, hold on one sec. That wasn't too far away. The other thing are the molds. I think it was K3 PTA 497. But these are some of the molds. And they've got the brushes and the nibs and everything. I made a bunch of these. And if you're going to make different boxes, what's so clever about this is here's the mold. And it says brushes. How cute is that? So you could add that to the front of your box. Colors, just creativity, nibs. So this is another alternative for uh, decorating. And I love this little palette. See, now I'm getting crazy because, you know, you see me watch this stuff. And I know you all do the same thing. You get something and you go, oh, my God, and you look at it and it's cute. I'm excited about this, too. But can you see how great it would go on? Look at go right on the front of the box. That's a decoration. So yeah, this is where you know you just go and do whatever makes you happy. But these are some ideas. You can also use the die cuts, chipboard, ribbons, and also on the back page of the paper pad, which I've already cut up are tons there's another palette but they've got all the sayings let me see if i can get that up there share inspiration art's not just a painting objects with stories to tell become art really great things and all of these two are on the back page all these paint tubes you can just cut these out So this is the part where, you know, just be creative with however you want to use your box. Um, you can also use little handles, put a little handle on it. And if you don't have your handles go up really high, if you've got the same boxes, and I'll just use this for fun. Look at, you could just stack these. If you've got, you know, a couple of the same size boxes, you could just stack them up. 
to store them away. So let's see where we're at. This is, this is the second one I did. And so we're all finished. So now I've got two of them here finished. So what would we like to see on them? How would we like to decorate it? Any ideas? I think I just lost Agnieszka. Are you there, Agnieszka? Hmm. Oh, there you are. You can hear me now. <laughs> well, I can now. No, I, I put you on the full screen. Oh, I lost you and I, I didn't hear anything. I said, oh my God, where'd you go? Okay. <laughs> okay. I will put you again for, for full screen for decoration. Yeah. My I mean, internet is playing up during the live. Few times I lost internet on my mobile, but okay. uh, that on computer I was still connected. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So actually, now you know. I mean, this is we could we could sit for another fifteen minutes and decorate, or you can just um, say, "Wow, I can do this." Because you really can. It doesn't get any easier than this. Agree or no? So now I got my collection. I got three of them here. Those three. And then this fourth one I'll finish up. This was like my little starter. I got this one. I just have to finish with the insides. And there's all different kinds of plastic inserts. So here's my whole collection. Uh, it's a huge collection. I need to start uh, collecting some trays. Well, yeah, but like I, and then, you know, that's the thing too, because you, if you're going to get them, look at this. These two are actually about the same size. And look, just stack them up when you're done, when you're done. Yeah. Crafty items that uh, agree, uh, great boxes and quick. Uh, Sylvia is say, sending a lot of hearts. Well, that's Monica good. Saying, I love it. <laughs> yeah, and and truly, I you know I did this in stages, but we really could have done from beginning to end just in an hour. I because I did I did these. Oh, I think it probably about two or three hours yesterday to put all four of these. You know, cut all the pieces and everything. Yeah. So yeah, but, and you know. You, you can get carried away if you want to also, because if you look at, um, you know, like this box, this, this cartonnage, you can see the construction for these boxes is basically the same. This one has a little lid on it. So if you're thinking, all you have to do is make a lid a little bit bigger and you could make lids for these. Yeah. I love that idea. Chocolate boxes makes cool revamp. Yeah. And we've got excuse to eat chocolate. Ladies, come on. <laughs> oh yeah. That 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 would make me really happy. You know, and we're in the season. So go and buy those. Um what's there's a couple of them that really have like great boxes. Yeah, candy boxes for sure. Yeah, because they're already made, you know, and you can just cover them. But I do this is the part that I just really like. I have one here. Ooh, even this, these fit my brushes. But I'm thinking, you know, just tools and pens and pencils and things. You know, like when you're working, look, at, stick them in yes, there. Especially because we've got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, stuff. Also, this is a good idea for your children desks. To oh yeah, everything tidy. You can handy. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to think of all the things that would fit. And even here, look. And I know we saw a great project too. Um, I think Alda made like a holder for the, your oh stardust. Oh yeah, my God. I love that stuff. But look at it; fits perfectly. Hey, Clara is saying chocolate and crafting, lots of fun, of course, always. <laughs> well, yeah, I, you know it's kind of like coordinated now. I, I mean, I just feel so classy. You know, I've got my little book, you know, and my boxes. 
but here and I'll show it since since Sarah wasn't here when I showed it off. Yay, yippee, skippy, look at this. Tell me. I love that. that. I love that idea. I I need that. Well, you Sarah, could you please send me feet? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But it's perfect. And she was clever enough to allow for four more colors. We can add to yeah. the collection. But oh, yeah, it was, well, I'm more than sure that uh, we're not gonna end it up. Stamperia are not gonna end it up with just six colors of inks. I know, but is it, it that box? It was just well, she's just so clever. No, you know, there's some people that when she does those, what was that carousel that she made? I thought I was gonna cry. But I'm really happy about this. <laughs> so now you see, I'm totally coordinated. So I'll put more. Data I love right chocolate too, Catherine. Yeah, great idea. I love that. Love chocolates. We're all eating. Oh, hi, Catherine. God, it's been ages since I've talked to everybody. And Clara. Oh, yeah. Now I get to see because I really wanted to get through before the hour was up. I didn't want to be punished. But we're done. Okay, all right. I will put... Okay, you want to switch your camera? Sure. Back? What are the odds we're done early? Do I get do I get points for this? I should. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said I I was going to be on time. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, I love right, those. Let me put me around. Hold on one second. I'm upside down again, vertically. There we are. <laughs> hello, hello, Cindy. Back. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> My amazing well, project. Thank you very much. Well, I hope you like this project because I know I was happy doing it. And and it's something, you know, just in an afternoon, you're you're done. Start collecting your little plastic stuffs, little containers, you know, and, and just build a box around it. I just think they're just way too much fun. I don't know. You could actually yeah, line we all the scene. Oh, that is, it's so nice. Now I feel bad that I was, I was hiding out, but honest to God, I was working. I was just trying to get caught up again, but I'll, I'll try to do better. I promise. I just absolutely promise I will. And thanks. It makes my heart feel good that you actually missed me. You know I mean? It's, it's like, oh, were you gone? Well, of no. course we miss you. We didn't see you online. We didn't saw your project, but I know you was uh, you was super busy then. Well, it's just obvious. trying to get normal again, and it's it's funny because it it finally hit home because I was starting to pull orders, you know, and I didn't have things unpacked, and I'm digging through boxes to fill orders, and then I say, I'm sorry, I'm sold out, and I couldn't even imagine how I sold out, so we had to just stop, <laughs> get get my world back organized again. But uh, yeah, somebody's saying she's ready for an extra union. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, it, listen, it was so much fun, and and so many of you gave me brought such beautiful gifts. I I was just a little overwhelmed, really, with how kind kind everybody is, and uh, you know, just to think of think of me and a lot of the teachers got the got gifts, and it was like wow. They took time to make things. I, honest to God, I, I should post pictures, and I, I really appreciate everybody that that came. Yeah, Sandra, I even answered you. Sandra said something. Where's Cindy? And I answered her <laughs> the other day. <laughs> but um, yeah. well, no, not it, too many people know how much time and effort it takes to make something like that. Well, it it was it was a labor of love. I swear it was. Uh, yeah, that was kit making at its best. <laughs> in addition to the other stuff, and and my son, I don't know what I would have done without him. He was great. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll see each other. We'll we'll get together again. But um, yeah, and and I I really do. I, I I'll try to do better. I promise. <laughs> Let's see, Blanche. Oh yeah. I'm just reading. And I say you deserve all those gifts and more. No, no, I didn't really. It, it was like too much. Yeah, Chaz was awesome. Yeah, Monica, she's so cute. Yeah, I'm just reading. Oh, well, I thank you so, that, so much, and I'm really always a pleasure for me to hosting. Well, yeah, I'm 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 really glad we got to team up again because my God, it's been months since we were together. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Months. 
I don't even remember. Yeah, I know. Um, I don't know. All our, <laughs> the best part of when we get together <laughs> is you and the glue gun. I thought... <laughs> 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 That, that was um, with, um, yeah, it's like, don't give her the glue gun. <laughs> I'm still doing that, but I remember on that life, I burned my fingers really very badly. Really no, and, badly. And very badly. Was, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> and she's dying with third degree burns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, the other, yeah. Um, there was another what was the other one there was another one we always laugh yeah we laugh too much maybe when we're together <laughs> well usually we are laughing and usually we are chatting just before life and we are just coming into the life all you know oh yeah we're ready coffee yeah we've had our coffee <laughs> yeah <laughs> actually i'm glad for this 10 o'clock one because i'm i'm almost on the downhill from the coffee i'm not too wound up <laughs> Thank you very much, Sylvia. We've got a lot of comments uh, from Sylvia, oh. from Betty. Um, yeah, well, I was, to be honest, I was depressed and I was crying for a few days when I found out that I can't come to the reunion. I feel really horrible and, well, but life sometimes happens and and well, sometimes it sometimes happens you have for to a play with cards which life give you. Yeah. I hope next time I can I can um mm, next time oh, I yeah. can Clara oh. just said you were gonna show the project. Yeah. Good thanks, Clara. I'm glad somebody's on top of this stuff. <laughs> this is the oh, Yeah, how cute is that? That's that secretary is it the secretaire? Yes, yes. I still have a couple of those kits. Yeah, that the, is a uh, uh, drawer. Yeah. And mini, hold on, I'll go get one. Hold on. And two mini albums. Those were nice. And believe me, I did that project a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, and I didn't pull, I didn't make even pictures. Oh, that is so cute. Here, this was the kit. Yes, exactly. Same. That's, that's what I was saying um, about this whole thing because it's a good way to learn. That kit was a great, great thing because uh, yes. it's got a little. Then if on you, the back. Yeah. And then please visit Cindy's shop. She's got that kit and you can create something like that. Yeah, there's still a few more of these. Um, there were a couple different versions, but that one is adorable. Yeah, and that and and the YouTube video is still up, so you can still do these. Yeah, there is mm -hmm. on YouTube. Uh, Sarah is putting all together. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> yeah, Priscilla, you have to order today. Sorry, because I'm holding uh, I'm holding um, a project. I I can't put um, uh, I can't put comments. Um, oh, okay. We can make, we make can it of course, well, we get you distracted. <laughs> but I hope you are mean it also spending more money. <laughs> to buy more stuff <laughs> <laughs> oh she's ordering it today yeah Priscilla. no it's okay really yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I still owe priscilla a mold that was one of my one of my bad days when you know i fill the order check it off and and something's missing so i i, I owe priscilla i didn't forget <laughs> see my life isn't all that easy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I I think we all need more more lives, more good more good time, more laugh in our life with uh, with our friends. I think so too, and and I I really I really appreciate being asked to do this, you know, uh, and I'm glad I found something that I could do that you might like. So that's even better. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad to see you all again. I'll try to do better. I promise. I'm I'm not like going to disappear again for months. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we're going to see you uh, much uh, often. Oh, I, I, you know, and, and thanks again for really, it's so kind of you to even say I miss you. It really is. 
And Agnieszka, we'll do this again because I think we make a good team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we are a great team. We have to talk with Michela to set up another date. Yeah, and as long as somebody doesn't yell squirrel and we get distracted, we're okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, everyone. I love y'all. Thanks. Again. I hope you, you had a great afternoon. You spent great afternoon, morning, or evening with us, depend on when you are uh, leaving. And have a nice weekend, all of you, and see you probably soon. soon. Good. All right. Bye bye. Bye-bye.